In today's video, we're embracing the open road. That's right, we're diving headfirst into van life in Europe by renting a camper van and spending the whole week in it. And we're traveling to our 10th province in the Netherlands, Flevoland, where we'll be spending our first few days in the camper van at a naturist resort, meaning everyone is completely naked. Find out if we'll be able to survive three days of being naked and not so alone in the woods. Good morning and welcome back. It's very humid today. It's so moist outside. And we have a ton of shit with us. Oh my God. Why do we have a ton of shit with us, Michelle? Well, we are on our way to Belgium to pick up our home for the next week. That's right. We're renting a camper van and we're taking it all around the Netherlands to see some places that we might not normally get to see since we don't have a car. Right. And we've never rented a camper van before. Ever. We've never lived in one. We have no camper van experience. In fact, we have very little camping experience. Have you camped before? Yeah, in high school. Yeah, I was like 10 when I camped last. Yeah, it's been a long time. Anyway. This is our first of four videos about our life in our van. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see what we get up to for the next week. So like we mentioned, this morning we left our home in Dordrecht and took the train to Mechelen in Belgium to pick up our home for the week. And right now we're traveling to a brand new province for us in the Netherlands, Flevoland, and we'll be staying at a campsite called Flevo Natur. It's a naturist campsite. So everyone's going to be naked. And... I am a little nervous. I, I think we um, we're challenging ourselves because not only do we have to learn how to set up our van at a campsite, which and we've never out, done before. Yeah, which we've never done before, and figure out how this thing works. We're gonna have to be naked the entire time we're doing it. It's it's gonna be stressful. We've dabbled in nude beaches before. I learned I need to take my sunglasses off whenever we're filming because um, oh yeah you can, you know, see a reflection of things in the sunglasses. <laughs> and yeah, we didn't have to like do We went anything. to the sauna. Yeah, but we didn't have to do anything there. This is definitely something that is out of our comfort zone, both because of the the nakedness of the whole thing. Like it's by far the most adventurous naked thing that we've done. And then on top of that, this is the first campsite that we're going to plug in our our van and get water and- Figure out how to cook. Figure out how to set up the bed on our own. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. So it looks like we're almost there, and I guess we'll see you once we get all set up. All right. Time for dinner. Did I forget something? Oh yeah. To be honest, before coming to Flavalon, we didn't know much about it. So if you're like us, here's a bit of information. It's the newest province in the Netherlands, established in 1986, which makes it younger than us. This province is so young because the land literally didn't exist before the 1950s. It was created by a large land reclamation project in the former North Sea Inlet of the Souter Sea. The Dutch actually made their own land. That's pretty impressive. The process that creates new land is called poldering, which is a complicated process but can be oversimplified in three steps. One, build a dike. Two, drain the water. And three, plant reeds to foster soil formation. Now, let's get back to the video. There is a restaurant here, but we're trying to cook in the van to get the whole camper van experience. Although we will plan to eat at the restaurant one of the nights because honestly, I wanna see, are people eating there naked? Or do you get closed to actually eat in the restaurant? We'll, we'll find out and let you know. I think they're going to be naked. And if you're wondering why Michelle is wearing a jacket, it's because we're filming. And it's really hard to film in a tiny van. There's no angle. There's no angle that works. The resort so far has been really nice. I just, the grounds are really nice. It's very relaxed, pretty quiet, and everyone's just like very friendly. When you first come in, everyone says hi to you, but then it seems like people mostly keep to themselves. Yeah. Walking around naked is very weird. Everyone else is naked. It's just, I don't know, like for the first like 10 minutes, it's just very weird being naked. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna help Michelle cook dinner in a van for the, for the first time. Are you gonna cook dinner? No, I'll support you. That works. I swear she has naked under there. Nope. I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of these this week.
<laughs> we did it. We did it. We'll see you in the morning for a tour and we'll tell you a bit more about the campsite. Good night. staying at Flavo Natur, which is a clothing optional campsite, and they have saunas, pools, a restaurant, and even a supermarket. Our morning routine has been to make a cup of coffee and then head to the supermarket where they serve fresh baked bread and coffee. And more coffee. And more coffee. Because we can only make so much in the van. This place is absolutely massive. Everything along this outer perimeter is where you're going to stay. So they have rental homes, you can bring your camper van, and then down here is where you can just pitch a tent. In the center here is where all of the facilities are. So we're staying over here where a lot of the camper vans are. And then right here in the center is where the restaurant is. There's the library. There's three saunas, the main pool, which is huge. They even have an indoor swimming pool and the playground over here. So you're probably curious about the types of people that are here and it's absolutely everyone. So there's couples, there's families with children, there's people of absolutely all ages, and everything's just very chill and relaxed. It definitely changed our perspective of what we thought a place like this was going to be. So we actually have one of the camper pitches that has a private bathroom, which has been so nice. So let's give you a tour of it. Welcome to the bathroom. So here's our shower. The water pressure is amazing tons of hot water it even has a heater there's the toilet that's making a weird noise right now but it came with toilet paper and then here's the sink and you can also like do your dishes here and everything which is really nice so we don't have to fill up our water tank we weren't sure what to expect there's double the amount of naturist resorts in europe than there is in the united states but that's comparing a continent to a country also in europe the resorts seem to be in a much more desirable location but overall our experience here has been amazing everyone's really friendly and the facilities are really clean but honestly, it's a little uncomfortable to film here because it's quite busy and everyone's naked. So when we head out, we're going to share a little bit more about our experience, the good, the bad, and the awkward. Because it's been awkward. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I don't think you can film this part. <laughs> Let me down. Okay, so we just checked out of Flavo Natur and we're headed to our next destination. I thought now might be a good time to share a little bit more about our experience there. So would you go back? Yeah, I definitely would go back. I liked it a lot more than I expected to. Yeah, I think it was like mostly good. There was nothing that was bad, but there were a few things that were awkward. Yeah, I think probably going to the supermarket fully naked was pretty awkward. <laughs> yeah, we definitely sweet. got used to it. And not to say that everyone in the supermarket was naked, because they weren't, but 
if you were in the sauna, the supermarket was right next to it. So and if you wanted to pick up like an ice cream or something afterwards, you'd just go in naked. There were some people though who came in there every single morning completely naked to pick up their bread and coffee though, which respect. Yeah, it was also very chilly. I was gonna morning. say, even when it was like 10 degrees outside, they were just naked all the time. But the employees are all clothed. So you're basically checking out, the employee is sitting down behind the register and uh, they're like, you know, crotch genital level I, yeah i think that was the part that was really weird also um for me it was like every time we wanted to go to the grocery store and we were going naked we were like what where do we put our money like yeah. where do we put our phones i was talking okay. about how funny it would be if i walked around the fanny pack but honestly it'd be pretty practical yeah, it would be really practical yeah i think the thing that really surprised me about the experience was that there were some like hardcore nudists there that were it, again it was chilly they were naked no matter what yeah but I'd say like most people there, when it was cold in the very early morning or in the evening, they would wear clothes and that was okay. Like you, you're not forced to be nude there. I think if you went there and you just didn't take off your clothes at all, no one would bat an eye. No, Except no. in the sauna or at the pool. Like they oh, don't allow yeah. swim trunks or anything at the pool, so. Yeah. But I mean, it, it, it was just kind of normal. Like it never seemed, I never felt like we, we're being forced to be naked. Yeah, or being forced to be clothed. Right, too. exactly. And I gotta say, when it gets warm in the morning and the sun is just beating uh, down, being able to sit outside and sun your naked body in the morning is so energizing. It was really nice. It was really nice. You're just like a big solar panel or something, yes. you know? I would definitely, I would definitely go back. I mean, in fact, when I think we, were we were sitting at the cafe in El Mero, we were talking about how we wanted to go back. Yeah, like what should we do next time? Where can we go next time? Yeah, so that's where we're going to leave you. But we want to know, have you stayed in a naturist resort before? Would you stay in a naturist resort? Let us know in the comments. And we'll see you tomorrow in El Mero, where we'll share a little bit more about our experience as first timers in a camper van. Wet butt time. Oh yeah, how's that feel? Slippery. <laughs>